You're, you're an activist uh, here for the Labour Party, and tomorrow is election day. How well do you think you'll do? Um, I think I'm doing uh, pretty well, yeah. We're trying here to convince people the, to uh, vote to the right, elec uh, to the right uh, party. Um, I think these elections are very, very important. They are uh, standing for the uh, next vision of Israel, if it's going to be uh, Israel uh, as we believe, uh, Zionist Israel, Democrat Israel, which everybody can uh, feel themselves as a uh, equalize uh, citizens, or it's going to be uh, dangerous Israel, dangerous for uh, our dream, our idea, uh, the Ben Gurion idea, uh, Ertel, and uh, most of the people that uh, has uh, built uh, this country. That, that when people, when you meet people on the doorstep, what are the main issues of concern? Um, the main issues are uh, pretty uh, around the, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, uh, also economy. Uh, these elections are uh, also considered uh, about uh, uh, corruption because we have uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, which is a uh, prime minister. Unfortunately, uh, he's been blamed for uh, three different, uh, uh, three different uh, accusations of uh, uh, corruption. Uh, I hope he, 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 it's not true, but unfortunately it, it looks like it is. And uh, as an Israeli citizen, it's very hard for me because of this is uh, the, the third uh, prime minister that uh, has been accused in uh, uh, corruption. Um, also, economy is not so good. Uh, um, old people and, uh, um, as you can see, also uh, handicaps are not getting the full uh, attention and the full support from the, from the government. Um, as a socialist, I believe that they, they should. I believe that everybody should get the, the proper chance to, to, uh, uh, to, to do the best from, uh, for, for, for his country, to do the best, uh, uh, to, to make the best from uh, he is. And coming from the EU, uh, there's a certain amount of concern about uh, the lack of progress on the two-state solution. Do you think... Uh, that if there was a change of leadership, that that situation would change, because at the moment there doesn't seems things, things appear to be going in reverse. Uh, look, this is probably the biggest uh, question for the shortest time, <laughs> but uh, definitely a change in the leadership is going to make a change in the way that you treat the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Um, I'm not uh, uh, um, uh, dreaming or. Uh, tricking myself that if we're gonna if we're gonna change the prime minister in the next day there's gonna be peace because there's also other side and uh, things are complicated uh, but uh, things are as to be done things are as to be started and when the the, the exist prime minister is doing nothing about it and then he lets the the extremist uh, right people to lead him uh, this is not our way. This is not the, the way that the, I believe the Jewish people uh, uh, believe. This is not the way that the Israelis are believe. And um, I think that uh, we should we should go back to a peace process to talk with the other side. Uh, you know, Rabin, uh, uh, Isaac Rabin was the one that uh, said that we should fight terror the, the, like there is no peace, and we should do peace like there is no terror. And this is the Labour Party. This is what we are believing.